Question 41, f of x equals all of this here. Um, so it has x minus 3 as a factor. And when f of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is minus 20. So in other words here, if x minus 3 is a factor, well, the opposite then of minus 3 is 3. So if it's a factor, then there's no remainder. And then the opposite of this then is 2. The remainder is minus 20. Okay, so what we need to do now is use these two facts and substitute in here. And we can work out what P is and what Q is. So F3 is 0, so we put 3 in. For X, that turns out to be 0. Simplify this. That's 27P. That's 9, 3Q minus 6 equals 0. So you've got 27p plus 3q equals 15. Right? These type of questions will involve simultaneous equations because there's two unknowns, p and q. So we're trying to set it up something like that. What I've noticed here straight away is that there's a factor, a common factor of 3. So we can divide through by 3. So that becomes 9. That becomes q. That becomes 5. So that's equation 1. Then you use the other fact then when you put 2 in the remainder is minus 20 so put 2 in and that equals minus 20 so 8p take away 4 when you square 2 plus 2q minus 6 equals minus 20 so 8p plus 2q take that over the other side you end up having minus 10 okay um, again, you can divide through by 2, so 4p plus q equals uh, minus 5, equation 2, and if we look at equation 1 and equation 2, they've both got q terms, so we can take them away, we can do 1 take away 2, if we do 1 take away 2, 9q take 9p, sorry, take away 4p is 5p. q take away q is 0. 5 take away negative 5. Well, if you take away negative, it becomes a positive. So you end up having 10. So that means then p will equal 10 divided by 5. It's equal to 2, which is what they wanted. To work out q then, you just sub it in. Sub it into 1. So sub in 1. So therefore, 9 times 2 plus q equals 5. So 18 plus q equals 5. So q will equal 5 minus 18. So q will equal negative 13. Okay, then it says part b, factorise f of x. So what we need to do now is rewrite f of x. Know what we know about p. Okay. And knowing what we know about Q, this is minus 13. So we need to factorise this. Now what's good is, and you should always do this with the question, always look to see if they've already given us a factor, and they haven't they? X minus 3 is a factor. So we've already done that. So if we rewrite this now as x, 2x cubed minus x squared minus 13x minus 6, x minus 3 is a factor. You just need to find the other two factors. Okay, so equate the x cubed. So you've got 2 then equals to a, as it always will. Equate the constant, so minus 6. And to get the constant here, it's minus 3 times c. So minus 3c. So that means then minus 6 over minus 3 is equal to c. So c is equal to 2 when you divide them. And then to get b, so the coefficient of x squared here is minus 1. Coefficient of x squared here is, um, well, b, bx squared, isn't it? And minus 3 times a is minus 3a. We know a is 2. So that means b is equal to 5. Okay? So therefore, it becomes x minus 3, 2x squared, plus 5x, plus um, where's C? It's 
plus 2. Okay, so you can go through the same process again um, to get these into two brackets. Okay, um, it's not so difficult in this instance here. Maybe we could uh, go for it like this if you want to. Um, again, they need to multiply, don't they? 2 times 2 is 4, add up to give 5. So two numbers that multiply to give 4, add up to give 5. 4 and 1, isn't it? So plus 4 plus 1. Don't forget then to divide by 2, because of times by 2 here. So this will become x minus 3. 2 is a factor in there, so that will go with this 2 then. So become x plus 2, 2x plus 1. And you factorised it.